What's up, everybody? I'm back, man. I'm back. Back from KCMO representing today. I wanted to try something different. Uh, so I always make my chicken thighs the same way, and I got, I don't know, 40, 50,000 hits on that video, and a lot of people say make more videos, and I thought about trying something new. So what the heck, let's try something new. What I'm going to do is I got these, um, these chicken thighs that I've already cleaned off, and I'm, I've dried them off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to season them now, and typically, as you guys know, I'll take the chicken and I'll put over the hot part of the coals, right, to get the, uh, the sear, to get the skin kind of crispy. Then I'll, I'll rotate it on over to the other side. I uh, was thinking, I got this, this torch that I think I spent 20 bucks on on Amazon, and I got it to actually sear steaks after I do my sous vide, but um, it doesn't really work well enough. It's not enough of a, uh, a machine to do what I needed to do. So anyways, but I, what I'm going to see is if I can do is I can sear the chicken in the house before I put it on the grill. That way, once I put it on the grill, I don't have to spin it, I don't have to jack with it, I don't have to do anything like that. So um, the first thing I'll do is I'll put my, my chicken seasoning on. A big question I get is what chicken rub do I use? And here it is. It's a guy, I think he's out of Kansas, Johnson County, Kansas, um, the Olathe area. But anyways, I can't find it very, very easily, so I have to go all the way to Olathe to, to get it, which is kind of a hike, but I like it that much. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and season this chicken. Let's adjust the camera. Some of you guys ask how I season my chicken, and so you can see how I do it right here, all right? I always start with the back side, and you'll see I put it on liberally. Um, the season that I use, is, it's not a salty season, so I can put it on fairly heavily. Um, get it in there. After I do that, I might do another, do another coat, so. All right, flip her over. And again, I've patted this chicken dry, so it's all good. Sometimes chicken skin will have, chicken thighs will have loose skin, right? So you can just lift up some of that, that skin and push it down. So, anyways, that's that. Uh, let me go, let me grab a cutting board before I do this searing so my wife doesn't kill me for, for messing up one of her, uh, messing up one of her uh, Tupperware. So, set this right here. All right, YouTube, I'm back. I had to go wash my hands. You know, I can't cross-contaminate. Chicken's not good stuff. You want to be cross-contaminating with stuff in your house. So, anyways, uh, got it seasoned. You see, I put it right here on the cutting board. Uh, this is the torch that I have. Spicy Do, I think is the name. Got it on Amazon, only 25 bucks anyway. So let's check it out. Let's try to sear this chicken and then we'll take it and then we'll just put it on indirect side and see if it works as well as doing it the other way. Here we go. Staring up a new engine. And I guess when it's done moving. In terms of the skin is done moving, I guess it's sear enough, so. All right, so anyways, let's give it a shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out to the grill. I'm gonna just put it on indirect side. We'll take a look at the color when we come back and see if, um, if it's as good as the other way. All right, we're back. And like I said, we're just gonna throw it on there. None of that skin side down, searing and all that. We're just gonna give it a shot and see how it works out. See, I've already got my hickory on the other side, and we're good to go. So what I'll do, we'll check back. Uh, let's check back in about mm, 45 minutes. We'll be back, see how they turn out. All right, 45 minutes later, and we'll see what we're working with. Whew, beautiful color. Remember, my thumb pin. 
Always check the temperature. Make sure you're in a good place. 97. Oh yeah, way done. Yeah. So these cook pretty hot today. 200. Yep. So they're way done. So what we'll do is we'll take them off. We'll take them inside and we'll see how. Oops. What we can do it right now. Oh yeah, you hear it? Oh yeah. That's the. That's the crunch we were looking for. So. I'd have to say the, the torch worked. Not sure if I'd use it every time, but if somebody just wanted to throw chicken on and not have the food with it again, the torch definitely worked. All right, my people, I'll see you next time. Next video I'm gonna make is spatchcock chicken or another, that's a fancy way of saying butterfly chicken, but I'll do that one next and I'll try to make more videos more often. All right, y'all, peace. Yo, my people, I'm back. I came back to finish off this video to say, that is the crispiest chicken that I have ever had from off of the Weber kettle of years and years of doing it. So if I'm in the mood and I got some time and I want some crispy, crispy skin, and I'm talking about crispy skin, then I'll do that every time. So I just wanted to let you guys know after sitting down and, and eating it, it's really, really good. Um, got a crunch to it that you wouldn't believe. So if you got a little torch, you want to try something to do, give it a shot. All right, guys. Peace.